Meg roars as WME forces Meg to star in a dishwasher ad for a startup after getting rejected by major brands. Know your place. WME asks Meg to star in dishwasher ad after major brands reject her. Prince Harry has only had his career prospects downgraded since leaving the royal family with his wife, Meghan Markle. Writing for News.au, Australian royal author Daniela Elser reflects on the Sussex's achievements in the last three years. A note about the future ahead, the shape right now for Harry and Meghan is a million miles away from the shape I thought they would be in again at the start of 2020. Furthermore, the Spear author's social position has plummeted despite his persistent energy and desire to do good. She explained, Harry and Meghan have yet to launch any major projects since the former's memoir released earlier this year. Also failed in a multi-million dollar deal with Spotify in June. How long before we see Sussex Cisco, Hall Hagen? We see a paid Instagram post upstream from Monito. She wondered recently, a rumor from an employee working for WME revealed that the boss of WME had signed Meghan and Harry to do an advertising contract. This person did not reveal the name of the brand that wanted to cooperate with Meghan and Harry, but it was a startup in the field of household appliances and they wanted Harold to appear in a dishwashing liquid advertisement. The move could give Meghan and Harry a run for their money, but they will become memes in the media after washing their dirty laundry before reacting to the rumor. Daniela Elser wonders how long it'll be before the Duke and Duchess will sit securely in a large shampoo bag or major brand flakes. How long will it be before we see the world's first dishwashing liquid commercial starring the fifth person in line to the throne? Please consult your family. In the latest episode dissecting Harry and Meghan, the royal commentator added that no one wonders whether the real Harry sometimes looks in the mirror and thinks for himself, I should not have given up on this nonsense since I married her. Meghan no longer has the function in mind to work because she's become too dependent on King Charles' money and the British people's taxes. Meghan Markle is said to have many, many misgivings about her past role in the royal family. It's known that she views things like a company where mental health is expected to be addressed in hourly statements, and the insights into all of this have been echoed by the royal commentator Angela Levin. She broke everything. In her most recent interview with Sky News Australia, it started when Miss Levin began by recalling a nuisance where the Duchess of Sussex reportedly felt that she would be paid to go to Australia to go to engagements. She was thinking about the same role as her companion. Levin started things off by saying that this also led to a period of mental suffering. She also felt that when they were said to not want to live, she went to HR and they told her, look, we can't help you because we're just doing the job. And she said, you have to help me because no one else will do it. But of course, they can't miss the line, adding the middle of the conversation before ending. Sylvan also admitted that what she didn't want to do was go to the royal family or Harry and say, help me because I feel so bad. There are many, many doctors at the palace.